Hello. Thank you for your interest in the TransScreener ADP FP assay from Bellbrook Labs. This video will provide some quick tips and tricks for getting set up with the assay. Please read the technical manual that comes with the kit for more information. First, determine if your plate reader is a fit with the kit. Many multimode plate readers are compatible with fluorescence polarization. However, it is important to understand that the assay provides an FP readout not merely that of fluorescence intensity. Please also note that each plate reader is very different in how it operates. Some require specific filter sets to achieve high-quality data. Bellbrook has a current listing of instrument compatibility at bellbrooklabs.com. Here you will find a variety of application notes that include the optimal settings. Please check with your instrument provider if you are not familiar with FP or have any instrument-related questions. First, let's discuss what's included in the kit. The ADP antibody. Sufficient antibody is included in the kit to complete 1,000 or 10,000 assays at an ATP concentration up to 100 micromolar. You can use up to 1 millimolar ATP with the kit. However, more antibody may be required. ADP Alexa Fluor 633 Tracer The fluorescent tracer displaced by ADP produced enzymatically. Stop and detect buffer B. This will stop enzyme reactions that require magnesium. This stop buffer may not work for all enzymes. ATP can be used for the enzyme reaction and to create an ADP-ATP standard curve. ADP is used to create the ADP-ATP standard curve. Required to run an assay, but not included in the kit. Ultra-pure water. Some deionized water systems are contaminated with nucleases that can degrade both nucleotide substrates and products reducing assay performance. Enzyme buffer, specific to your enzyme, may include a variety of components. Please see the user manual for a summary of additive effects on the assay. Enzyme, transscreener ADP assays are designed for use with purified enzyme preparations. Assay plates, it is important to use assay plates that are entirely black with a non-binding surface. We recommend Corning 384 well plates, catalog number 4514. Liquid handling devices. Use liquid handling devices that can accurately dispense a minimum volume of 2.5 microliters into 384 well plates. Now let's discuss some assay basics. The TransScreener ADP FP assay is a far red competitive fluorescence polarization assay. Because it is highly selective for ADP, the assay can be used with any enzyme that converts ATP to ADP, regardless of what other substrates are used. Examples of enzymes include protein, lipid, and carbohydrate kinases, ATPases, DNA helicases, carboxylases, and glutamine synthetase. The transscreener assay is designed specifically for high-throughput screening with a single-edition mix-and-read format. Run your enzyme reaction, add detection regions, and get the results. The TransScreener ADP detection mixture contains an ADP Alexa Fluor 633 tracer bound to an ADP antibody. ADP produced by the target enzyme displaces the tracer, which rotates freely, causing a decrease in FP. Now, let's get you set up with the assay. The first time requires four main steps. Set up the instrument. Determine the antibody concentration. Optimize the enzyme concentration and run the assay. Once each of these steps is completed, running the assay is simple. Just mix and read. Now that you have your instrument dialed in, it's important to determine the optimal ADP antibody concentration. The assay detects ADP in the presence of excess ATP under initial enzyme velocity conditions. The concentration of ADP antibody determines the total assay window and the ADP detection range. The amount needed primarily depends upon the ATP concentration in the enzyme reaction. You can use a simple equation to determine the ADP antibody based on the ATP concentration required for your enzyme. Y equals 1.08x plus 1.0. The antibody in micrograms per milliliter equals 1.08 times the ATP concentration in micromolar plus 1.0. As an example, 
With an ATP concentration of 10 micromolar, the antibody concentration in the detection mix is 11.8 micrograms per milliliter. Using the ADP antibody concentration calculated with the equation will produce excellent results for most users. If it does not produce the results you require, we recommend that you perform an ADP antibody titration in the buffer system ideal for your enzyme target. Please see the technical manual for more information. Perform an enzyme titration to identify the optimal enzyme concentration for the assay. Use enzyme buffer conditions, substrate, library solvents such as DMSO, and ATP concentrations that are optimal for your target enzyme. Buffer components may affect assay sensitivity. Please refer to section 7.3 of the technical manual for more information. To achieve the most robust assay, the quantity of enzyme required to produce an 80% change in FP signal, or EC80, is ideal for screening of large compound libraries and generating inhibitor dose response curves. The enzyme reaction mixture should be 10 microliters. Incubate at a temperature and time ideal for the enzyme target before adding the ADP detection mixture. Now, let's prepare the 1x ADP detection mixture. We previously determined that the correct ADP antibody concentration should be 11.8 micrograms per milliliter. Use the example in the technical manual to determine antibody, tracer, stop buffer, and water volumes. Add the enzyme reaction mixture to test compounds and mix on a plate shaker. Start the reaction by adding ATP and acceptor substrate, then mix. Incubate for the time that best fits your enzyme. Add 10 microliters of 1x ADP detection mixture to 10 microliters of the enzyme reaction. Mix using a plate shaker. Incubate at room temperature for one hour and measure FP. And that's it. Run your enzyme reaction, mix in the detection regents, read on a plate reader, and accelerate your drug discovery.